gosh. It's a day of infamy. Took it down to 54%. Okay, what did I forget? Because I always forget something. Not so like, I can't remember your name, but I can remember your fellas. <laughs> One of my dad's favorite songs was Ah, Sweet Mystery of Life. In all the years of visiting Lake Tahoe, John and I have not spent much time on the west side of the lake. The area is probably best known for hosting the 1960 Winter Olympics, but it also has beautiful beaches, bike trails, and boating. This week, we take advantage of an expanding network of multi-use trails in the basin, and John surprises me with a special gift to celebrate the day we met 50 years ago. We are at William Kent Campground on just south of Tahoe City. John's gonna take the bikes down. They have some great paved bike trails here. We'll start up here at our campground, right there, and ride the trail down almost to Tahoma and the Sugar Pine Point State Park. area. Look at that. along the side is all national forest land. It's so cool. Here's one right here. And this one is right across from the Caspian campground. Blackwood Creek. If you're wondering what this sign means, well, I was curious too. I checked in with our son to get the details. Apparently, the owners of Homewood Ski Area were making plans to privatize the ski resort, leaving locals out in the cold. However, just this morning, our son sent us this article which claims that the developer has ceded to public pressure. I'll link the article below. That 
was super cool. John said he got the first one. I got the second one. Back to the trail. I'm guessing that these might, I, I'm thinking these used to be Forest Service uh, rec cabins. Is this it? Yep. On a through road. I don't know what that means. Almost every home along here has one of those uh, electric mats they're using now to deter bears. So they have a yellow sign next to their front door and then there's a mat and uh, some of them have ropes across the front. It's like every house along here has one. They probably had a big bear issue. There's a nice fence. miles. One of the nice things about that ride is it's of course paved so it goes really fast and you got beautiful views of the lake. You've got beautiful homes along the way, interesting architecture. We did not go all the way to Meeks Bay because we were getting, it's getting late in the day but uh, that's a good target and there's a state park down there as well. So we're going to do the river trail tomorrow and that means we need to charge our bikes. So we brought our extra battery and uh, we'll I think that'll, should charge them both. This is the battery, it weighs a ton. It weighs a freaking ton. It's a uh, 100 amp hours, right, John? Yeah, 100 amp hours, it has a built-in solar panel that's inside. The yeah, then you have to press the AC button on that side. There you go. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read that. I'm, now he's gonna plug in the second one and it's pulling. 200, I don't know, whatever that says. I'll have to take a picture of it. Pulling in 71 watts. Took it down to 54%. Both, both bikes are done. Bikes are down and we're gonna head north toward Kings Beach. Okay, what did I forget? Because I always forget something. And uh, I don't know, I guess we can buy it. <laughs> I told you I forgot something, my shoes. <laughs> I wait this long all the time. <laughs> I heard that. There's nothing unusual here, nothing new. <laughs> Move along people, nothing new here. I so what that. did you forget? My shoes. And I forgot to turn on the vent. Yeah. We're gonna check out the Gatekeepers Museum. It's nine dollars for seniors. Uh, it's weird that we couldn't find a bike rack, especially when you're on this amazing bike trail. Um, although maybe it's in the parking lot. Yeah. So this was the Gatekeepers Log House, and it is gorgeous. This is the woman who donated everything to us, Marianne Steinbach. Wow. She, um, when she passed, she put in her will that she wanted everything to be left in one spot. She didn't want to be broken up. So we have all of these and we have storage units full. So this is her collection? This is her collection. She started oh when she was 16. Gosh. And she collected until the time of her death. 
most of the things are things that belong to her. We have some that belong to some of the Washoe tribe, okay. which it matches up with the pink cardboard picture that you see back there. That mm -hmm. was Dasa Lali. She was one of the most famous. Her weave was the tightest in the state of California. Wow. I know, it's just amazing. We have a lot of things in the drawers to open up. Um, our oldest piece, we have one here that is a picture from the Pueblo area from 900 to 1180, and then a little hat in a small container over there that was 900 to 100 BC. Wow, where, and where was that collected? That was from the Lake Winnemucca area, oh, uh -huh. which dried up. And yeah. It was found in a cave. And if you look close, you can still see the feathers. Yes, it's we keep amazing. trying to imagine what what it would have, what the headdress would have looked like. That is gorgeous. Yeah. New York City about three weeks ago, in the Native American Museum, and I turned a corner, and there's a picture of her with two of her baskets. I was like, "Oh, you're famous!" <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, they're yeah. beautiful. And the colors oh, are very unusual. The and feathers that they used. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Wow. Oh, these dolls are amazing. Aren't they something? Clamor Another Modoc Tule bag. That doll is amazing. Isn't that something? Is that the unknown? 1801 doll and carrier. I look at some of these, oh. and this reminds wow. me of like Asian, like the fez mm -hmm. hats, yeah. and some of them are small enough. Well, really, yeah, that's what's the old phrase? Like, not small. Like, you can't remember your name, but I can see your fez. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was Britney Spears wore that in concert, didn't you? I dream a genie could have come out of a bottle like that. <laughs> There's a flume boat recovered in Lake Tahoe in the eight, late 1800s and was recovered in Lake Tahoe, often confused with a Native American canoe. And all the movies that were filmed in the Lake Tahoe area. Look at that. Wow. What film was that? The Godfather. Is it? This is a great gas Out of the past, Charlie Chaplin and the Gold the Rush. Godfather. Oh, okay. Is that A Place in the Sun? Elizabeth Taylor, Montgomery Clift, The Godfather Part Two, Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy. Oh, she sings that song that dad liked so much. One of my dad's favorite songs was Ah, Sweet Mystery of Life. now Lake Tahoe, Lake Bon Planned. Oh, and then they called it the modern day Lake Tahoe, Lake Bigler in 1854, 100 years before I was born. And then other maps referred to the lake, not only as Bigler, but also as Mountain Lake and Ma Mahian Lake. In 1862, map maker William Henry Knight and his colleague suggested Tahoe. Tahoe is a local tribal name. Oh, Idaho was carved out of Washington and Oregon. Oh, and look at Utah. Utah went all the way over here. That's now Nevada. And Nebraska, that was Nebraska territory. That was big. So just three years earlier, there is no Washington. It's just Oregon. 
it's just Oregon and this is Utah territory. And then what's that? Oh, that's Mexico. Yeah, that New Mexico. New Mexico came all the way over it and included Arizona. Yeah. Wow. I had no idea. Yeah. No idea. Moonlit this... waters. Oh, that's great. That's the record that's on there now. Oh, it is. Okay. Originally cost thirty-five dollars. Patented in nineteen oh one. That was definitely worth a stop. That's a real gem. Especially if you have somebody like that lady who told us about the different things. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd miss a lot. This is called Outlet Point, and it's the only place where the waters of Lake Tahoe are released into Lower Truckee River. Water break. Can't let the green one escape. Go! Mm. John is reliving a moment 50 years ago today. Today. And the reason we know it's 50 years ago today is because he called the college to find out exactly what day school started so he could figure out the day he met me. The day I first saw her. The I was too afraid to meet her. Uh, I just gazed from afar and said, hubba, hubba. Okay. The truth is, I saw him before he saw me. He was coming out of the men's locker room. <laughs> and we were just starting our, our co-ed volleyball class. And it took him a whole year to finally ask me out. Well, not a whole year, a whole school year before he asked me out. An amazing church. <sighs> 16 miles. I'm gonna make an Omnia oven casserole. It's uh, kind of a variation on one that I've done before. It's, I guess most people would have it for breakfast, but we're gonna have it for dinner. salad. We're getting a visit from our son. <sighs> On his way home from work. There he is. He's got a box. Don't know what's in that box. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that something you ordered? I, I think it's something John ordered. <laughs> It is too. It is too. <laughs> Not very good content. <laughs> I think you're great content. <laughs> Dad, you forgot this at the house. <laughs> oh, he's, he ordered something for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about the package, okay? <laughs> okay. So I ordered from a lady. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask Jody. Would you like some dinner? We have uh, some broccoli salad here with, for sure. you, and we have some uh, casserole. Okay, go ahead and feed him. Uh, I'll, okay. To feed him. So tell me the story, John. Uh, okay, so I ordered this package. <laughs> okay, but like back in Nam. Yeah. Uh, okay. Third week in August. It was supposed to arrive in South Lake Tahoe around the 25th of August, and then we're going to hide it for. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so the ladies, the lady I ordered from, she called, she sent me a text and she said, okay, here's your tracking number, USPS, Postal Service. So I'm tracking this and it says it was in Guam. Oh my gosh. So I said, <laughs> I don't know why it's in Guam. And so she tracked with the U.S. Postal Service and they found it and they redirected it to. It went to Guam yeah, first? Yeah. So it's, it's, oh, it's that's been places too funny. that we haven't been. Okay. <sighs> when, and it was ordered for what purpose? 50th anniversary. Oh. <laughs> Did you think we would be here? No, I didn't know where we would be, but I knew that this was going to be there. Okay, we'll open it up. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see what he has in here. <coughs> oh my gosh. It's a day of infamy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> It's, oh wow! It's license plate September 6, nineteen seventy three. Oh, that's eight. that's amazing, John. And, Thank and you. There's, there's supposed to be California and Arizona and Texas and Ohio and Pennsylvania supposed to be in here because those are the places yeah. we live. Wow! Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the day of infamy. And it's, it's, so when I said, Jody, you know, stop by if you have time. He's like, yeah, I have to stop by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's already prearranged. Yeah. Oh, so there you that's, go. That's, a, that's awesome. I love it. Dad asked me to put it in my car yesterday. And I didn't know I'd see you. So I'm like, oh, I'll just do it the well, next day. you know what? We'll have to hang that in our new van. So that's... It's made by Just Plate Crazy. That's great on Etsy. Yeah. Okay. Here's the real celebration. Ice cream. Got the dirty mint chip. It was like six bucks. It's my 50th anniversary. <laughs> and I got the It's It for three bucks. Mine is 5.5 .5 ounces. Uh -huh. 5.8. And you only get 0.3 ounces more. Look at the difference. 320 calories versus 570. Mine tastes better.